Hello beautiful Capricorns and welcome back to the channel guys. This is your bonus. Let's go straight to Capricorn's messages. Capricorn messages from the universe here. Ooh, a way shower. You walk your talk and set an enlightened example of highest authenticity. You could be a parent, a yogi, altruist, a guru, a clergy, a volunteer, or an advocate. You are a warrior. You break through blocks and overcome obstacles to make way for the new. You could be an attorney, a competitor, a team leader, a coach, or someone in the military. Storyteller. You share deep truths that connect others to empathy and understanding. You could be an actor, a teacher, a writer a marketer or a director. Teacher, you help to enlighten others to encourage learning in all forms. Uh, you could be an instructor, a coach, a mentor, someone who is in, on a social media speaker. Uh, you are a catalyst. You call people to action and incite positive change to happen quickly. You could be a legislature, a humanitarian, an environmentalist or a healer. Either way, you are a goddess. You are a powerful being who is admired and adored for blessings you bring. You could be a healer, a psychic, a spiritual guru, artist, musician, or an actor. Either way, you are a catalyst for change. Ooh, a liberator. Hello. Let's go now. Let's go straight to Capricorn. What is this all about for Capricorn? Why are you showing Capricorn their attributes, their talents, their skills? What's this all about? Because you are confident. You are uh, an entrepreneur in your own right. You're a catalyst for change. You're a good leader. You may be teaching others. Huh. You may be a catalyst for teaching others. Let's see. Look at you. Empress energy, goddess. Full of love here. A bringer of justice. You could be involved with the law. This is family justice. You could be dealing with family law or bringing justice to families. An advocate. You could be a child advocate or a family advocate. Or you advocate for justice for families. Hmm. Reveal what is hidden as well. You have good karma here. You're a born leader here. Very attractive. Goddess energy. Very handsome or beautiful energy. A natural, a natural here. Huh. Very strong, very brave, courageous, beautiful aura and energy. So you don't like when people are deceiving. You don't like deceive, deceptive energy. This is lies, um, cheating, deception. It goes right against your grain here. Like, I think that you have given a lot of people a different perspective. You, you cause people to pause. And you cause people to reflect and you cause people to look at themselves 
that they normally wouldn't look at. You bring a new perspective to things. Someone's angry that they've lost an opportunity with you. It's like you bring to light what was hid in the dark. It's like you bring a, a, a light to things. You do not like injustices done. You are a warrior. And you're a catalyst for change. could be a healer you could be a relationship counselor a relationship healer you could help bring a new perspective to people it's like you're very intuitive you could be a spiritual healer The natural ability to protect. Someone's very jealous of you. See, you like equality. You don't like things when they're off balance. And you may have had to end some friendships with people or something like that. It's like if they go, you help people transform. But you may have had to cut some people out of your life here. Oh, jeez. You could be a guru. You actually could be a, a counselor, a healer, a guru, humanitarian. You certainly are not for injustices of people. You work hard. And you might be help a helper of people who have been hurt. Afraid, scarred, you're a warrior. Even though you yourself have been scarred, you still can help others. You still have the ability to heal. This could be something to do. See, you're like this. Balance, patient, temperate. Hmm. So you're a warrior. And it's like you don't like it. Um, stuff to do with this is betrayal of friends.
the fuck is this? Truth, clarity. You're going to have to cut people out of your life. You may have had to cut people out of your life. I don't know. A Capricorn in their upright energy. I'm not talking about Capricorns in their lower vibrational energy. I'm talking about Capricorn in their operating from their highest frequencies. These people are unstoppable warriors. It's like whatever, because you've been given so many tasks, Capricorn, you've been given so many tasks upon this earth that you're rewarded well for it. It's like you hate injustices. These are the bringers of truth. These are the bringers of authenticity. And I don't think you'd... Do I don't see you putting up with with um, people hurting people. I, I, I don't see you. I don't see it. In fact, you're you're like you can bring change. You can bring change and give people a different perspective. Like if you were dealing with someone who has been through a lot of pain, who has been through a lot of suffering, you can identify with that person and you can actually put a twist on things to cause them to heal. Wow, that's really an awesome gift. You know, it's like someone who's been hurt can help people heal because <laughs> you can understand what they've been through. You can understand their pain. You can relate to them on a level that normally other people wouldn't be able to do. You're a natural at it. You're a natural. You have to balance out your work life with your personal life. Because sometimes if you are, say you are a healer or say you are a teacher or someone to do with the law or the military, you may have the tendency to like hang on to those because you take things on personally. Like these are things that you go over in your mind. And you may be the type that takes their work home with them. You've got to learn to know when to cut that off. Because you could actually be like taking on other people's energies like you care deeply and it's a fine line between cutting that off and going home and leaving it there and bringing it home with you. It's easier said than done, but that's what it's saying. Know when to cut that off, to keep your home harmonious and leave your work at work and learn when to cut it off. Learn when enough is enough. Okay, that's this. Now I gotta cut that off. And this is me time. And this is time for me. You, you're a person who may take your work home with you or when other people are have been served injustices you may take that on, which is not yours to take on. Like you can help and assist in all those things, but don't take it on.
who are a catalyst. You can show them how to change their own lives. But you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. So make sure that you are protecting your own energy as well as the same time as helping others. A balance between home life and work life. You are a catalyst to make change, though. You're here as a catalyst. A liberator. <laughs> a miracle worker. People admire you. People look up to you. But keep everything in balance. If you feel like your energy is starting to be drained. You're going to have to learn to leave that out. Okay, enough for today. You can't save everyone. You can't heal everyone. You're the type that don't want to leave no one behind. Take care.